Now, I'm not normally in favour of capital punishment, but uh, there are some crimes for which it could reasonably be reintroduced, and I think you'll agree that this is one of them. So the Emerson turned up in the post, wrapped in one thin sheet of pre-popped antique bubble wrap that didn't even cover the whole thing. And then a mailing bag. That was it. It still has six of these heavy old batteries in it, old U2 types. Obviously that didn't help in terms of it getting bashed around with the extra weight. I've got some epoxy on there, drying, and then I need to do some filling and basically try to mix the paint patch up that line so that it's as invisible as possible maybe with some varnish on top and do the best I can there's also some stressing of the plastic you can probably see there can't see it when the radio set up so not too concerned about that really Having removed the battery tubes from here, attractive front, if a bit sort of girly pink for me, but it's um, sort of shouts 1960, which I think is the year it was made. Emerson, big American radio producer, kind of interesting because moulded into the back. Plastic is Emerson's Electronics Limited, London, England. So they clearly had a London branch. Perhaps this was a model for the UK market only. E666. 666, yes. I found the circuit diagram on radiomuseum.org. Uh, but no service sheets and no other photograph of this model. Emerson television and radio. And of course the dials arranged with um, stations including Welsh and Third and Scottish etc. So obviously uh, certainly the English model. But was there an equivalent American model? I don't know. Bottom of the board accessible without taking the board out, though I think it will need to come out. Down here, you can see in the centre there, there's the leg of the circuit that goes to a hole with no component soldered in there where there's a dab of solder as if the person assembling it was expecting there to be a component leg. I'm not sure whether that means anything yet but we'll find out when I've looked at the circuit diagram. I connected up from a separate battery pack and nothing at all. I asked my friend Lester Smith, electronics engineer at EMI Studios, Abbey Road, for his opinion. I think you're right. It doesn't work. 